It's Ben Marie here with another edition of SAS Metric School. Today, talking gross revenue retention. And I can't believe we're 59 episodes in here and I haven't talked about GRR yet or known as gross dollar retention. So this is a must-have metric as an operator of our business and also absolutely required in due diligence, which requires a clean MRR schedule. And that's going to be requested in due diligence every time. And in the show notes, I've got a link to a lesson and templates that will show you how to create your MRR schedule, which then you can feed into my retention template, which is like magic to create your gross revenue retention number. So what is GRR? Well, it looks at the health of our existing customer base, looks at the health of that recurring revenue, and it factors in only downgrades or contraction and churn. So we're not factoring in expansion. We're not factoring in, in new customers. So this metric maxes out at 100% because we can only go down from there, from contraction and churn. And again, contraction, they're paying us 10. Now they're paying us five. That's contraction. Or churn, they're paying us 10 and they go to zero. That's completely out the door in the form of churn. So when we calculate gross revenue retention, those are the two inputs. Plus we have our existing MR base. And there are lots of, way to do, lots of ways to calculate retention on an aggregate basis, on a cohort basis. I cover that in other lessons or episodes of, of SAS Metric School. But we have those two inputs, con contraction and churn. It maxes out at 100%. Now, what are good benchmarks for gross revenue retention? Of course, it depends on our ACV. If we're targeting mid-market enterprise customers, I consider 95% and above best in class. 90 above is in a, you're in a good spot. Now, if you're targeting SMB, we can lower those standards a bit. And if you're targeting B2C, we can lower those, those benchmarks even more. So maybe if you're in the, you know, targeting SMB customers, maybe you're around 85 to 90%. If we're targeting B2C and say we've got an app, truly to the consumers, you know, gross revenue retention numbers can be good in the range of 70 to 80%. Now, I'm still trying to figure out good benchmarks for B2C. But of course, for B2B, check out benchmarket.ai for the latest SaaS metrics benchmarks. But again, if you're talking mid-market enterprise, I consider 95% and above best in class for gross revenue retention. So this is a must-have metric. It's in pillar two of my SaaS metrics framework. Of course, pillar one is acquiring customers.